Mary Metal, welcome to this video. I am the Aussie Witch Service by the Wade. So this is going to be an updated review of the Inessence Ultrasonic Alarm Clock Diffuser. So back in May of 2017, I had posted a video on YouTube um, just reviewing this vaporizer. I explained how to set the alarm, the time, as well as how to navigate and use this diffuser. So back then I had had this diffuser for about two months and I was in love with it. Unfortunately, my opinion of this particular diffuser has changed since then. So about three months in of having this diffuser, where you see this little silver rim here on the plastic lid, so if I can just pop it open, you can see you've got a white part here of the lid and this little silver rim. The silver rim ended up cracking in half simply because the lid ended up overheating when I had the diffuser diffusing for about 30 minutes. That should not happen with an ultrasonic diffuser for the simple fact that ultrasonic diffusers are not meant to create or generate any form of heat. That is the point of having an ultrasonic diffuser so then you can diffuse essential oil without heat. Now, when I called the Inessence company and I called uh, the head office for them, they were more than happy to replace my diffuser. And this is the second diffuser that I have, so the replacement um, item. And the reason why they thought that the system ended up heating up compared to their older diffusers was due to the mechanism that um, generates the clock. Now that may be true, but it shouldn't be creating that much heat that it caused the little rim here to crack. It may have been a manufacturing default of that particular um, release of my clock, but I don't know for sure because it hasn't happened since then. Now, since um, I've had this second diffuser from the first moment that I got it, I noticed something different about it. So when you listen to the sound of my first YouTube video on this diffuser, you will notice that the diffuser is very quiet. You can barely hear the motor. Unfortunately, from day one with this particular diffuser, the motor stands out. You can really hear the motorized sound and the longer that it diffuses, so it's just diffused now, I've just turned it on and you can hear it's fairly loud, but not that loud. But in about 15 or so minutes, it gets louder. And if you're diffusing at 10 o'clock at night, for example, because you can't sleep or your mind is being overworked and you're wanting to diffuse a blend that helps to calm your mind, keep you centered and grounded, or if you're wanting to diffuse essential oil to help with meditational practice, for example, it becomes quite hard to do so because all you can hear is this motor running. Now, this is a pet peeve of mine. I don't like to listen to motors diffuse, like motors at night when I'm trying to relax, nor do I like it when I'm studying. I'm one of those people where if I'm trying to study and focus, I want quiet. I don't want to hear loud noises. A little bit of noise is okay, but this humming is really annoying. Especially as it's one of those choking hums. In other words, you've got a strong hum, then it drops in tone, then it goes back up, then it drops in tone again, etc, etc. It is really irritating. The other thing that I don't like about it, unfortunately, is the reason why I purchased it now. So I purchased this alarm clock vaporizer for the alarm clock feature. So what the alarm clock feature is, uh, is very straightforward. So if I just click on the alarm symbol here. Okay, that just turned it off. Let me just turn it on now. You can see I've set it for five o'clock. What this means is, is when I'm sleeping, when 5 o'clock a.m. Um, pops up, the alarm clock vaporizer will automatically turn itself on. Now, when it turns itself on, it gives off really loud beeping. 
and it actually beeps fairly loud and for quite a long time before it starts diffusing anything. That is really quite shocking to be honest because it does startle you awake rather than gently waking you up based on the essential oils that you're diffusing. That is something that I don't like. Back in the ancient world, they used um, not alarm clock diffusers, but they use incense sticks as a form of calculating time. So if you look at a lot of Asian cultures and their history of um, incense, they will create what is known as incense trails, where the incense will be burnt and the fragrance will change depending on the time of day. So for example, you would light incense and... It will be one smell that will mean that you wake up and it wakes you up. Then it automatically goes into another smell, which will be breakfast, lunch, dinner, bedtime, etc. So it was a rudimentary form of an alarm clock or a stopwatch, for example. This one here, and the main reason why I purchased this um, diffuser was because I have trouble waking up in the morning. I am not a morning person. So I wanted to set up my alarm clock vaporizer with essential oils the night before that will help me to wake up, keep my mind alert, energize me, and stimulate focus and concentration. So what I would do was, what I did was at 10 o'clock at night or sometimes 10.30, I will top up my vaporizer with its water, add in my 8 drops of essential oil um, for, and left it for the morning. When morning hit, um, came up and the diffuser was turned on, I noticed a couple of different things. Depending on the essential oils that I use, I may not receive any fragrance at all in that morning because the fragrance evaporated overnight or the fragrance was or you would be able to smell the fragrance but it wasn't as strong or potent as it should have been so for example if i was to fill this with water add a couple of drops of essential oil right now and turned it on you will get a fairly strong um scent coming off it and it will be very clean so if i was to add let's say lemon essential oil the lemon smell will come across as very citrusy, very sweet and sharp. But if I did the lemon essential oil in this vaporizer and poured it in at 10 o'clock at night and it turned on in 5 hours, so 5 in the morning, I would not be able to smell the lemon essential oil at all. If I added peppermint though, I may be able to smell peppermint the next day, but it's not going to be that clean, fresh smell that we associate with peppermint. You can still smell peppermint, but it's going to be at a very subdued um, fragrance level. This is not something that I am happy with, as I find it to be a waste of my essential oils and a waste of my money. So let me just turn this on off right now. So I have not used this essential oil vaporizer in months. I don't even bother using it to diffuse anymore. In fact, I actually unboxed it just for this video. So I'm actually planning on giving this, um, in essence, vaporizer away to a family friend of mine who wanted it and they don't mind the sound of the diffuser. And it's their, and it'll be their first um, aromatherapy diffuser. So even though I'm not a fan of this diffuser anymore, if you are happy with um, listening to the motorized sound, that it doesn't bother you and you're not planning on really using the alarm clock feature like I am, or like I wanted to, it's a great um, diffuser. But for me, um, I'd rather use a regular ultrasonic diffuser rather than this one, um, because the features that I were looking that I was looking for in this diffuser does not exist, or it does not operate as functionally as what I'd want. So a regular diffuser is more than sufficient for me. Now this is in no way me bagging in essence or anything like that in essence is a fairly great company and the staff members there are absolutely lovely but as far as the vaporizer itself is concerned i personally don't use it anymore and i 
wouldn't recommend it myself anymore. I hope this gives you a little bit more insight behind how my views have changed concerning this vaporizer. Blessed be.